What's up, keyboard nerds? This is my Megalodon wireless macro pad, and this is yours. So, as a thank you to the 5,000 of you subscribing to this YouTube channel, that's crazy. By the way, thank you. I decided to give this away. So, I could not figure out a way to just choose a random YouTube subscriber. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I will leave a link to the giveaway page. You'll have to enter in your email address, but I'm not doing anything with it. You won't be sold anything. There's no marketing attached to this. I'm just giving away this macro pad. So, go here by August 8th. Hang on. Go there by August 8th. 2023, 8, 8 is the deadline. If you're watching this video after the fact, well, subscribe anyways. I'll be doing more giveaways in the future. So there you go. Thank you for being a subscriber. And now uh, I wanna talk a little bit more about the Megalodon. 30 second summary, and then I'll actually wanna jump right into the setup because I presume that's probably why most of you are watching. So macro pad, meaning it's designed to go alongside whatever keyboard you have, and you can assign whatever you want to it. All these 16 keys are assignable through VIA, or QMK, by the way, if you don't know what QMK or VIA is, uh, it's amazing. And I have some YouTube videos that teach you how to use that stuff. And I have a separate video on VIA macros. I'll leave links in the description, but that's what this thing is designed for. So if you, know, you don't know how to do that, go watch those videos. Now, three rotary encoders, three knobs, a little LED screen that shows what layer you're on and your battery, which is really handy, by the way. This is wireless. I do think they sell a wired only version still. I'm not positive. USB-C 3 right there, obviously, and buttons to like turn it on, turn it off, and to pair with a Bluetooth 5.0 device. Other than that, it comes in a wide variety of colors. It's built solid, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a macro pad. You can do whatever you want with it. If you can figure out how to customize through QMK and VIA, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this thing. But let's talk about setup. If you have purchased this thing after May or June 2023, ignore the, ignore the next 20 seconds. If you have an older one purchased before June 2023, you need to update the firmware on this computer. If you go to like keymonkey.com and you find the Megalodon, just below it will have uh, a couple of links, including the remapping instructions. This is going to walk you through this step-by-step, step, how to basically just kind of reset the hardware, the firmware on your macro pad. Once you do that, you will be able to, uh, or your, your computer should automatically detect this. And by your computer, I mean VIA. VIA will automatically detect this. You can use the browser-based version of VIA, etc. Okay, if you have an older one, you gotta go do that. If you have a newer one, it really doesn't matter anyways. By the way, you don't actually have to update this. I didn't update this. Let me actually pull up VIA on my machine and plug this guy in to my computer. Okay, plug it in. Nothing happens. What you can do is download the JSON file, which is somewhere on uh, like this page right here, the key map. You can do this with a lot of different keyboards. Download the JSON file here and then uh, upload it, or import it rather, import key map. Here, I have a few downloaded uh, a couple of minutes ago. I grabbed one, take that, and there it should pop right up. There we go. Now I can customize my macro pad. So new version, old version, doesn't matter. You can get here eventually. Now, I'm not gonna walk you through QMK via um, because I have other videos on that, which you can go check out. You see what I did right there, by the way? I assigned different camera angles to uh, some macros on my macro pad, like a stream deck. You don't wanna buy the Elgato stream decks or whatnot, you can do it with a macro pad, just whatever you want right there. I'm not gonna go through how I did that, but I will just briefly show you that. Macro one and macro two. If we go to macros, macro one, macro, oh wait, wrong macros. I always do that, don't I? Macro one, uh, command one. Macro two, basically command two. The simplest macros ever. Go check out the video in the description if you want to dive more into QMK and VIA, but that is pretty much it. Now, there are a few other YouTube videos I've seen where people are referring to the fact that this does not work on Mac currently, or it did, but then it broke. I've experienced no such thing. I have a Windows PC. I've used it on that. I have a Mac, which I'm recording videos with. I use it on that as well. Bluetooth, it's absolutely fine. It works. That's fine. I've experienced zero issues whatsoever. Okay, 
my review is really dead simple. This is the best macro pad I've touched at all, period. I have three, <laughs> I think. Well, I guess that's not saying a whole lot, but uh, the point is wireless cannot be beat when it comes to macro pads. The last thing I like are these cords on my desk all the time. I keep a very clean desk almost always. Wireless macro pads, so nice. Worth paying the extra like $20, $30 for or whatever it is. I think this is like $80 right now. I paid a little bit more just because it was brand new <laughs> when I got it. So worth it, absolutely worth it. The rotary encoders, they feel great. I was gonna try and do something. Oh, I'm just turning my volume up and down on my computer with this right now. They feel great. That you can actually feel the small steps, which I really like. I don't know if I can, I'm not gonna use these because I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up my video because I don't know what I'm bound to right now. But the, uh, the knobs feel fantastic. I wish I could do other stuff with the LED screen, like custom messages or like program that in. Some keyboards actually have uh, OLED screens where you can like upload images or GIFs or whatever and do that. You can't to my knowledge on this one, but it's okay. I like that it shows the battery power on there as well when you need to charge it. Very handy. I really like that. Pairing this was uh, super easy. Literally took like 10 seconds and I was like, oh, oh there it is, it's worked. It, it's, it's working, it's paired. Uh, the only thing I've not tried to do yet is touch the backlights. I'm assuming that's done through the normal via settings, which I, uh, well, I'm not gonna do it because I have to like plug it back in and do it. But I presume it has to do with that. I just have not tested that out personally. Other than that, it looks great. It feels great. It's really nice and heavy. I like that it has little rubberized feet so it doesn't move around your desk very easy. I love that very much. It's quiet, it sounds good as well. Again, I was gonna press some keys, but you may or may not be able to hear that. But the point is, it sounds great, it feels great, it's heavy, it's premium, I love the wireless feel. Out of any of the macro pads I've touched, or even seen really, I think this is probably the one that I would recommend. And it's less than $100, which makes it a steal. It's fantastic. Now, go buy one. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you're watching this before August 8, I'll leave a link to the giveaway. I'm gonna send this to somebody, uh, no strings attached whatsoever. Go enter that giveaway before August 8, 2023, and uh, go check out these other videos I have on VIA and uh, QMK, if you wanna learn more about that. That's all I got, my friends. I hope you have a mega day. Adios.